live stream. Sorry about the delay. Um, I needed to grab a glass of water because I start. Uh, always start better with water. Mm. Ah, I'm so glad you you joined me for today's live stream. Um, hope you're having a great day. I hope you're still healthy. I hope um, everything's all right. I hope your family's all right. And I hope you can stay as home as much as possible um, in order to beat this freaking virus once and for all. Okay, so welcome to Benny's live stream. It's Benny. 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 Live stream. live every night, 9 p.m. Central European time. <laughs> there you have it. Every night, 9 p.m. Central European time um, for, I don't know, like 35 days straight now. And um, I got to say, I, I'm enjoying this so, so much. I'm um, getting so much great feedback all over the from all over the world, basically. Um, I'm still trying to adjust my, my, my chair here a little bit. Um, this has been so much fun and I've been I've been growing into into these live streams um, ever since I started a couple weeks ago ever since this corona madness started out and um, what I found was that today's topic is a huge one to so many people uh, let me make sure that I turn off my gate here on the microphone so you can actually hear me a little more fluent um, but first of all uh, as ever make sure you subscribe to my channel um, hit the bell if you want to be notified about any upcoming um, live streams and so on and so forth um, I also want to make sure that I read and follow the comments here today on the live chat so no screen sharing today today's all going to be about motivation because i introduced this schedule uh last week um and i'm, I'm going to post this to all my social media channels as well um so i came up with a schedule for my live streams and um we're going to follow along this red line of the schedule uh, all throughout the week. So we have a Motivation Monday from now on. And we're going to talk about topics that are motivation related. Um, so we're going to talk about um, all kinds of stuff. Um, motivation, inspiration. We're going to have a Q&A session. we probably going to have a lot of guests um, that are joining me on via Skype or, or Zoom and we, we're going to discuss about all kinds of um, motivational topics and also um, I want to not only like do it as a tutorial style uh, video I um, just want to give you some inspiration and I want to I want to start with a very very inspiring quote by by Bob Dylan uh, who said um, inspiration is the highest gift that you can give to a another human being um, what else is there but inspiration and um, to me that's so motivating and so inspirational um, it's it's so inspiring to to strive for goals and and to just live for the sake of inspiration and you you probably found yourself um being thrown in this corona situation just like i did and uh so many else so many uh, <laughs> people um too so and i found there's um there's a lot of different types of people to deal with uh, this coronavirus uh, situation um, I found a lot of people are um, ending up being frustrated about the situation being um, not motivated at all to to um, start out on any project at all or maybe even even start a new project they didn't even think about before um, and just from from my experience, um, this this time has been very very inspir inspiring to me because um, it's the first time in history, 
like the late history, um, uh, that we are actually given time, time to think about stuff that um, we usually didn't find the time to think about, like uh, what's really important to you, what's really important to your career, what's really, really important about your life, basically. And um, along with these these questions come comes a lot of... Um, how do I say that? Uh, there comes a lot of not knowing which step to take after after you found an answer to maybe some or maybe all of those questions. And um, I think inspiration is a big key to uh, inspiration and motivation is a, a big key to um, actually make the best out of this situation and find a way through it. And so I came up with a thing i'm i'm usually uh listening to a lot of audiobooks like i I listen to a lot of motivational um audiobooks from from brenton bouchard or um similar authors and um i agree to the most point uh with what they're saying but i came up with my own like code to motivation and i want to introduce this code to you today uh, completely for free and completely live, uncut, as you know me. <laughs> uh, and um, I just want to share this experience with you because it's it's been life-changing for me in so many ways. And um, it keeps being life-changing all the time ever since um, this, this corona madness started out. So I want to share the motivation code with you. And it's called... N J R. <laughs> Let me put this up here. Uh, N J R. Boom. Um, what I like about this N J R is because there is so many things behind this N, this J, and this R. <laughs> and I think to to find out about motivation in the first place. Um, it's it's very important to to think about the things that uh, keep you from feeling motivated for something. Um, so there's always a hard struggle to start out with something, right? To get yourself motivated to start out with something. There's always a fight to stay motivated to, during a task that you might like, you might not. Um, and there's always... Um, a certain type of like you you want to of, of you want to seeing results uh, after you you've done a task or you you accomplished a project you want to see results um, so these three letters mean a lot so let me introduce each and every letter by itself n is for necessity um, necessity is something very very powerful so uh probably most of you know the feeling to work for somebody instead of working for yourself um me as being self-employed i'm only working for myself so that is a super super hard task to um to work for myself and because i don't have a boss to tell me um uh, what time i should should start out my work uh, how i should do my work um and nobody will get pissed at me if I if I don't like accomplish the project that I uh, I was trying to accomplish in, in the first place um, during uh, the day or like a um, a deadline that I was given. And uh, so, if you're working for somebody, this somebody usually gives you a deadline or uh, tells you how to do your job or or tells you when to wake up in the morning <laughs> that uh, who tells you when to take breaks and all that kind of stuff if you're working for yourself this can be pretty tough sometimes so maybe sometimes you don't feel motivated at all but but you still sh- know uh, internally that you should be uh, productive you should be taking out something you should be doing a live stream right now um, but maybe you don't feel like that so um, there's always a certain amount of necessity being required to um, force yourself to start so that's why I call this the force to start um, 
starting out is always the toughest um, opponent because um, actually I don't know why because usually you overestimate any kind of task before you jump in and do it right so um, best example is uh, the slogan from Nike Nike just do it this is so ah it's so meaningful because every task that you 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 plan out or you you think about doing any project that you're you're planning um is so is is so overestimated in your mind until you just start out and just do it right and i'm i'm sure you experienced that yourself and that goes along with any kind of uh, project that you, you know, that you want to do. If you want to learn something, you need a certain amount of necessity. So uh, my advice is raise necessity and you you will just have a, a lot easier um, to start out on something. Um, let me see. Oh, um, another thing that I wanted wanted to... Um, to ex express with with necessity is um especially if you're working in the creative field it's pretty hard to separate passion from from like the job side of things um i don't think you you should like separate these things like 100 percent from each other but um it's sometimes it's pretty hard especially if you're not inspired um i'm working as a full-time musician i'm 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 putting out music um i'm writing music every day i'm i'm producing something i i do mixes i i record i i write i i play and of course and everybody's lying um every musician is lying that says he's always inspired because there are cer <laughs> there most certainly are times that uh you're not inspired at all but this is when when the necessity part um um should should jump in and uh, keeps you um keeps you from just stop stop doing what you what you're doing um that you first started out before uh, for passion uh, and and passion was your only reason to to start on, on on something so make sure you you regard it as a job when you don't feel inspired but while you're doing it do it with full passion and and let the passion lead you once you overcome this first obstacle of um getting started and and find the motivation to get started so um if you're having a hard time to uh work for yourself maybe just come up with somebody to work for maybe your your partner your your spouse your um your wife your husband whoever uh, and tell them about your um your intentions your your uh uh, accomplishments of the day all that kind of stuff share that with somebody and and you will f you will feel the motivation um and the necessity of like uh showing results to somebody uh rise up in in yourself maybe you can you can set a day uh, a day of the week or maybe a time of the day um, to just sit down and talk about your accomplishments uh, maybe i don't know eight o'clock in the evening uh, you sit down and just talk about your your accomplishments today that will raise necessity a lot and that is what letter n is standing for so check that out um next letter next letter um let me get rid of the n speaking about passion don't forget the joy the joy is the force that keeps you going um while you as soon as you overcome this obstacle of getting started it's hard to stay in the game sometimes. Sometimes you just lose interest. Sometimes you just lose the joy of something um, while you're doing it. 
because you're facing new obstacles, you're facing new problems, new issues uh, that you need to solve. And <laughs> this is a very, very cool line that I took from um, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Uh, I, I really like this book because um, it's, it's a very cool line uh, to say that... Uh, how's the line going? Um, Oh god damn it. I forgot. I forgot. I I I will get to it later. But just have joy while you're doing it. And um just be aware of that what you're doing is is very valuable and it can be valuable. You never know. Um although I don't know. Like there's not a whole lot of people uh watching this live stream right now. Um but I know that this can be very, very inspiring to somebody in the future. Or maybe it's very, very inspiring for those, uh, I don't know, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 people watching right now um, here on Instagram and YouTube. So always find reasons to feel joy and always put yourself in the situation um, where where you can be very joyful about the the task that you have to um have to do at the moment so for example if i'm writing a song and i, I get stuck on a lyric or so um i just force myself uh, i just force myself to feel what i would feel if i um if i had written a, a beautiful lyric like the most beautiful lyric in the world and um usually that gives me so much joy like I, I can feel the joy um because i've experienced the the feeling of having written something that i thought was very very good and once you you put that feeling into into your system it's and and you got it as a tool to use you can just bring it up whenever you feel uninspired or not motivated um this is a very very powerful thing to do uh, to stay in there instead of giving up on something um, and I want to want to just um, stress it out as much as I can uh, emotion is what you what keeps you in the game it can also be anything like you can you can uh, relate emotion to to any of these letters because they keep you motivated all the time always think about the motivation maybe to how how do you feel um when you feel motivated that is a huge huge saver um if you want to if you want to start out how do you feel if you're experience some kind of flow in your work how do you feel when when you do that uh or when you have that so and always try to have have this feeling just within your reach um because that can keep you in the game and the last thing the last letter is results results at the end of any kind of project we want to see results we want to see results from ourselves we want to see results how they um they uh relate to others so we want to see what what uh the thing we did does to the world right because we want to leave a legacy we want to make something very meaningful and i think results is very important for example if you're a i don't know like um a painter you can you can paint a wall and at the end of the day you see that painted wall right and that is very motivating because you see the result and it turned out pretty beautiful so that's very very important to see results and sometimes our our projects and our our tasks are so abstract that um it's very hard to see to to uh uh keep record of uh, our results so my advice is start recording uh results in any way possible so like i don't know uh, as a songwriter record everything that you accomplished over the day um 
maybe write down any task that you that you accomplished over the day uh, throughout the day and this can also be very helpful for um, telling your boss like I don't know your spouse or whoever it's going to be um, to to just tell them about your day and all the projects that you you try to accomplish all the projects and tasks that you you came up with because this can be very very different every day and especially if you're working in the creative field i always think about the painter just painting a wall and seeing a clear definite result and try to take record for your results as well voice memo i don't know notes app um, especially if you having some some kind of checklists or to-do lists make sure you cross off what you accomplished and um, take a moment to be proud of your accomplishments um, and this is also the emotional connection again um, feel the joy of having finished something so that's why i call it um, the force to do it again because this is this is giving you so much dopamine that you're you feel like like a high um i get that feeling all the time when i finish the song um it it i'm on a on a on a high for for days usually if i have finished a beautiful song um but this can be something very different for everybody um because everybody has different projects and tasks every day um, I would also call it the force uh, to finish something, not only to start something again or to do it again. Um, that way we can keep it in a nice circle. But um, I would also call it the force to finish something because you can you can st- <laughs> you can get strongly addicted to that feeling of having finished something and being really proud of it. So this is it. This is the motivation code that I came up with. It's uh, N for necessity, R uh, J for joy, and R for results. Um, whenever you get stuck, think about NJR. It's pretty useful. It's pretty useful. So leave a comment and tell me how your motivation. Maybe you can come up. Uh, you did came up with. Um, did come up with a different motivation code. This can be different for anybody. This is what worked for me within the last seven to eight weeks, pretty well. So maybe it's worth a try. Let me make sure to to read some comments and to to answer some comments. Ah, uh, there are some. Yeah, it's the twenty one the twenty first live stream on YouTube already. I started out like thirty five days ago on Instagram. Hello here too. Hello everybody. So same thing if you have questions, go ahead, ask on Instagram. I see some people are watching here on Instagram. Um I wanna make sure I answer some questions. <clears throat> Yeah, another week of life. <laughs> By the way, I really love how you guys actually interact with each other. <laughs> it's it's really sweet. That gives me some some community vibe. Yeah, <laughs> we're community already. Nice. Um, that can be very very inspiring and motivating too. So seeing a live chat, live chat is a result to me. Um, I see you interact with each other. You you exchange experiences you you talk about your day which gives me joy and um more more uh, necessity to do this again and to start over a new live stream every day uh dude i can totally relate oh, this thing is getting motivated in the first place mostly before hitting the gym right <laughs> I've experienced that hundred hundred of times, and right now it's really, really, really hard to get motivated to work out at home, because I don't know going to the gym. At least you have this motivation of going to the gym and being with a lot of people that are actually ha- having the same issue, um, getting motivated to work out, and uh, they overcome this obstacle. So um, 
I think I think being surrounded by people that already uh, did overcome this obstacle is even more motivating. So um, if you do this for for two weeks or so, you probably don't find yourself um, getting stuck uh, in the motivation circle um, too too much, I guess, um, to go to the gym. But now it's really hard. <clears throat> That said, I haven't worked out for three days. I should. I should. I will do tomorrow. Promise. <laughs> uh, how was your weekend? My weekend was good. Had a nice dinner with my neighbors yesterday. <laughs> Finally had some decent weather. Had a chance to barbecue yesterday. Hey, congratulations. Johnny finally started to raid the first since month. Right, right, right. Okay, so I'm skipping a couple comments. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Made it very difficult, demotivating. Benny helps. Thank you so much. That's the most inspiring compliment. <clears throat> that works for me, writing my personal results. Yeah. Share your results in, in the comments. What is it that you do? Um, just exchange your experiences. Um, the motivation code can be something different for anybody, but mine is NJR. Uh, I go. <laughs> okay, so I just skip through some comments here. <clears throat> Okay, GR, you had some questions. I'm a bass player and I want to do back vocals, but I'm terrible. How can I improve my singing and YouTube channel or exercise? Um, how can you improve your singing? Um, make sure about who your idols are. And that's a tough qu It's It's a very simple question. How... How can I get better at something is always very, very hard to answer because um, the way is so much different for anybody. So if you really have a lot of joy in singing, then just enjoy singing in the first place. And I would recommend not to start like with the most, um, I don't know, the, the most uh, extraordinary styles of singing. So just go ahead, find your voice, find find a good spot in your voice uh, where you feel relaxed and still like be able to hit the notes and um, make sure you, you, um, you get control over this, this range that you have in the first place. After you ma master that, and feel very very secure about your your main range then go ahead and experiment with um like upper range falsetto head voice uh mixed voice all that kind of stuff then go for for some nice education um but the only thing i can recommend you is um start uh discovering your voice yourself and always start with your voice of speech. So speech level voice. Uh, the range of your talking voice is also also very interesting because um, I I experienced a lot of lot of singers that um, just started out with singing really really high, although they had a very low speaking voice. So I guess their natural timbre would be in a very uh, in a lower register that they probably sing but because they thought it was very nice to sing high um, they mastered in this register which is totally fine but I think and my idols my personal idols um, are always singing in their natural range they do some some um, adventures here and there like going up going very low um, but most of the time they find their 
super super nice range and they know their voice as good as um as it could be to um to transport as much emotional uh content within their voice and i think that's probably the most in your natural kind of timbre um your natural range for me for example this is pretty low because i'm not a super super high high singer i can do falsetto of course but um this is not my natural voice and i like my natural voice a lot more than um like mixed voice or or head voice or all that kind of stuff so yeah discover your voice and uh just set some 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 limits before you experiment going over the limits <clears throat> and feel comfortable about your your comfort zone um does it highlight the comments when we address the like that to you if so maybe you won't get lost in thousand comments <laughs> well luckily there's not thousand comments yet uh, so i'm can overview them pretty well <laughs> no it doesn't highlight by the way um i just see the the whole chat um so that's very easy and thank you gr i'm feeling very honored to be your idol <laughs> thank you so much oh thank you 90 <laughs> percent of your youtube playlist is me <laughs> that's super sweet okay let me check let me check instagram if there's some questions popping up here uh no they're just giving thumbs up and heart smileys and that's cool too <laughs> okay so i guess i wrap it up right here it's a shorter live stream today but motivation monday is coming up every monday now i hope you enjoyed this topic leave a comment what you what you think about the NR, njr um and if that helps you in some way i don't know i hope it will um this keeps me being motivated every day and i always ask myself about my n my j and my r so right now probably my n would be <clears throat> necessity i actually i actually talk to my spouse a lot about this so we we try to um regard our uh, creative process more as a job these days because it's really hard to stay motivated or to to get motivation to start out on on a new song while um the world is on a lockdown because we're so dependent on on stories that we experience and th that we want to retell uh, within our songs so um yeah it's it's a very very tough task to to stay um uh, to to feel this force to start out on something and um so that helps us a little bit and we're we're forcing ourselves to find more stories from different sources now like we for example we're watching a lot more uh, tv shows right now because we we like the motivation and the inspiration that we get from from the stories that are told there and you excuse me uh, and usually they're very very inspiring and very well written um, so we can relate to a situation and then we can retell something in our own way um, yeah so i guess that worked out for me having having my spouse as my my uh my boss <laughs> and also we we talk about our uh accomplishments joy of course the live streams are a lot of joy to me right now seeing seeing you people react and um like seeing a comment like gr just posted is so so sweet and so inspiring um so that is what i'm doing this for um, this gives me the most joy so that keeps me in the game and of course um, look on, looking up to my youtube channel right now where there was like i don't know three or four videos uh, that i left on there up till 
last month <laughs> and now seeing like 21 new videos um, that is a cool result to look at and um, also a cool result to to evolve um, for example like I don't know thumbnails I there's always things that you can improve and, and um, like the look of these videos um, how do they how do they appear in in comparison to other YouTube stuff um, how much do I want to uh, connect to other YouTubers? Um, um, all that kind of stuff. That's that's very, very interesting to me and very new as well. So I want to keep track on of my and keep record of my results. And this is how I do it. So yeah, find your NJR. And I hope this will help you. Got a map, anything. Good luck with the hay fever. <laughs> Mike is the man. <clears throat> All right. So I guess I wrap it up right here. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel right here. And also hit the, the bell if you want to be notified about any upcoming live stream. And I guess I'm going to see you tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to beat the clock. Every Tuesday is going to be me against the clock from now on. Uh, as I said, I'm going to post the schedule um, of my live streams um, probably later. And so you can follow along the new system of live streams that I uh, want to follow along. And I can wait to see you tomorrow. Take care. It's Benny. 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 Take care.